Hi guys. Happy Tuesday. Are we sure it's not Monday? Because all kinds of things are going wrong. But alas, I'm here and I think I'm good. I think, I think, I think. Once you guys get chatting and I can see that I'm actually here, that will be awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, that will be good. Let's see, how do I, here we go. Um, I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. All kinds of craziness. So here's the problem. Facebook is bonkers is basically the problem. Um, but they, of course, kicked me out of Facebook today. And so every single thing needs to be like re-logged in, reconnected. And I forgot about that. So hey, all to my YouTubers um, out there who have been here since the very beginning. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Polly and Charlotte and Gail and Linda and Diane and Ariel. Thank you so much for joining me. And Anita and Jane Fires, live number two. Woohoo! Uh, Linda, hello. Diane, Philpot, thank you. Hi, Carol Hefner. I'm back, I'm back. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Gail. Hi, Dean. Woohoo! Anita. Kathy McDonald, Connie, Margaret, Sarah Bourne, hello, you made it live. Um, today, uh, oh, here's what I have to tell you. I have one announcement, and that is, I literally, like this, I have to have my finger on the button. I literally have one of my boxes left from yesterday. So I literally have one. That means um, the first person who types box in the comments, goes through the checkout, gets the box. Everybody else, that's okay. Like that's the deal. So um, I go ahead and let you guys know that early so we can figure it out. And what else? Do, oh, announcements also. Um, I will finish saying hi to all you guys. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Shelly and Ginny Brock. Ooh, newbie. Hi, Ginny. Um, one of my favorite aunts in the whole world. That was her name. So love that name. Um, and Sharla, hello again. Debbie Nelson, yay. Hi, Carol. My goodness. <gasps> Carol, I just sent you a super awesome gifty in the mail. It's a surprise. Woohoo. Anne Marie and Wanda's here and Wendy Lynn. Hello, Carlin. Jane Smith. Um, let's see. Oh, my goodness. My boys are going at it, apparently. Dad's up there, though. Hi, Gail, Sylvie, and Amy Grossman, and Angie, hello. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Um, Holly, hello, Vivian, yay. Yeah, uh, mm, I think it was all me. All the, the issues were with me. Well, hello, Creative Sarah. Long time no see. Looking in the mirror. Just kidding, it's Susanna. Hi, Susie. And Sherry, Linda, yes, I had to leave YouTube and then go back on again. So glad you guys all made it. Hi, Jennifer and Logan. Um, what is the box about, Lois? The box is, I've got, I've got some beads over here on it. The box is a double-sided um, it looks like this on one side and it looks like this on the other side. And, um, if you want to make this and get the creative Sarah bundle box, um, 
you type box in the comments and it will come into your messenger if you're on Facebook and you'll be able to see that. I only have one left though. Um, these are special bundles that I put together and I ship out and I only buy so many and then I can only mail out so many and I have one left. So I'm just trying to um, get literally just sell off that one box. Um, okay, so moving on right along. Hi, Roseanne and Linda. I'm not on YouTube. Are you for real? I was on YouTube and now I'm not on YouTube. Hold please. How annoying. Um, hmm. Let me go back and look. I'll re it says I'm live on YouTube, but I wonder what happened. Did it? Hmm. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. This is like going to go down in history as the best live ever. Oh no, it says I'm live right now. Hmm, things that make you go hmm. I'm, a, I'm still live on this YouTube, like thank goodness. Okay, so I'm good. All right, I'm just gonna be confident that I am on YouTube, but something, but I think what happened is um, I came live at 8.08. I'm, I know it's 8.23 now, but on 8.08 I came live and I was not on Facebook. So I told everybody who was there, I have to go, but um, I'll be back. Come find me. Don't go anywhere. And I, eg I exited, deleted that, refreshed my Facebook, came back on both. So you probably lost me there and didn't realize that I said goodbye. Oh, yes, I am. Yes. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, so tonight I'm making a really adorable buffalo check shadow box with pumpkin cutouts and a little bit of like stuff in there. All right, so um, yeah, so I think that's, oh gosh, what is happening here? Nope. Nope, my life is just not as predictable as it should be. I mean, well, okay. All right, so let's look really quickly at what we're going to do. Oh, look, yes, I do have, okay, here we go. Um, so I'm going to do... Two things, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our cutouts and I'm going to make them um, a little different colored, make them beautiful colors. And the color I would like is a very, very light papaya. This is our papaya, look how smooth and creamy. Oh, I just opened it brand new, it's so beautiful. So, um, I'm gonna take papaya, smooth and creamy, beautiful, love it, love it. And I'm gonna take some of our oof, smooth and creamy dune to lighten up that papaya. Okay, just a little bit there. Probably this is probably three parts papaya, one part dune, and I'm filling, I understand. I'm, okay, The it is now sold out. So, we are now no longer selling the memories box. It's sold out. Thank you, thank you, thank you to whoever Hit the, hit the button. All right, so we're gonna take that off of there. 
So here's what I'm gonna do. I've put water in here, and I've got my papaya, and my almond, or not almond, looks like almond. If you have almond at home, it'll work perfectly, but it's dune is the color. So I'm kind of creating a little warmer color than our guava. Like it's very guava-esque, but it's a little bit warmer. That papaya is just a little, yeah. I'm just gonna call it warmer, okay? Now, I'm gonna keep that there, and I'm gonna take my handy two-inch brush, because it's gonna make it go so much quicker. Give a quick spray of water on here. I don't need to do the back, but I do have to do parts of the bottom. Well, I probably don't even have to do parts of the bottom. Mostly the top and the sides, okay? So we're gonna do a nice wash over this, and I am gonna do the sides, because it's a shadow box and you will see quite a bit I'm just making the strokes to match the pumpkin. Now, here's, um, if you don't have our pumpkin cutouts, you can use the pumpkin, um, you can use the pumpkin transfers and just do the transfer on the surface, like what I'm gonna do. All right, now we're gonna let that one dry it's nice and pretty. And this one, I, I kind of wanted to do it a little, hmm, I don't think I do two pumpkins the exact same color. I kind of, I kind of wanted to go a little rogue. Um, Maybe I will do mostly dune, because I really wanted to do mostly dune, and then kind of get this in the water. So it's kind of like a white pumpkin, but it's, you know, the off-white color. But maybe we'll do some darker detail. I need to get another, okay. I think I can use this paintbrush. It's a little bit smaller. Oh, give it a little water, wipe it on here. Thank you, Carol. Oh good, Linda, you're back on YouTube. Hi, Carrie Fry. So I'm gonna just kind of paint this that pretty almond color. Real quick, it goes on so much quicker. For all of those of you who told me to spray it with water first, um, I love, look how quick that goes on. I feel like this needs um, like a little bit of darkness in a stripe, maybe. But I'm totally going to blend it so that it's barely there. So we've just got... There we go. So it's barely, can you see that it's barely, barely striped, barely with the papaya concoction. So now I would like, I love both of these with the striping. I wanna dry it. I don't wanna mess it up. So I'm just gonna hit this like this. Hi Dion. It needed help, Sharla, a messy bow is a messy bow. I bet it's adorable. And just pull out the, you know, make sure it's tight and pull it out and kind of fluff it a little bit if you want. 
my gosh, I love a messy bow so much. Um, quickly, while I'm drying this stuff, if you are new, I would love it if you would please type add me into the comments and then I'll send you a quick message with a link and you can jump into my VIP group, okay? That's my customer group. It's a free group for more ideas, inspiration, and insider information. And this weekend, there is going to be an amazing, one of my signature live transfer sales right inside that group. So you, there is an event coming up on Saturday inside the group, inside the event, 3 p.m. on Saturday. You can't get to the event unless you're in the group. So make sure, of course, no, no designers are allowed, just customers, but um, make sh sure you get into that group before Saturday. Okay. So I'm still drying this. For sure, Jenny will get you. I'll actually be sending you a message right quick. And um, it's amazing how I can do a million things at once. You'd be surprised. I'm so talented. <laughs> Just kidding. I do wish. So today, right before, every time I go, you guys, it's like I have, every time I go live, I have hair and makeup right here. Got my brush. Got my lip stuff. I have a little powder in case I look like, ugh. Um, cause it's late, right? Like I put my makeup on at 6.30 in the morning and it has to last until eight or nine o'clock at night. So I wish I had like a real hair and makeup person to just like make it perfect. It's never perfect. It's never perfect. But I do, I have a little drawer next to me. Hair and makeup. Okay. Um... All right, so these are good. Now, all I'm going to do now is paint the sides because some of this will be visible as I put this in the shadow box. Some of it you'll be able to see. So I'll do this, set these aside, let them dry, and I will do the inside of the shadow box, which is going to be awesome. Also, let me go ahead and tell you this. Um, we This week, I will be doing our awesome Club Couture kit transfer of the month, so for October. And I really, really like it this month. It's super cute. And I can't wait to show you my take on it. Um, if you have never heard of Club Couture, I want to let you in on a little secret. It's our preferred customer program. It is, um, it's actually our, pres so it's not a prescription, um, but it should be. No, just kidding. Prescription for a good time. No, it is a subscription service and the subscription is a monthly subscription for a project kit, it's a it's it's your DIY fix once a month, and it's only $19.99. So I have this all done. I'm gonna go ahead and do part of this too because I know that part of that could show. I mean, I'm just being a perfectionist now, which I'm usually not. I'm gonna set this here to dry. Hi, Gail, thank you. I love my streak look too. All right, now we gotta do the rest of this. So, Club Couture, back to that. Pres prescription for a good time. It's a subscription program. Now, um, when you join this, you pay $19.99 for your project kit every month, free of shipping. You don't have to sh pay to ship it. It'll come right to your house. And um, it makes you a preferred customer, which means you get specials every, like every month. I always say you get specials throughout the year, but honestly, we have had a Club Couture special prom promo, promotion every single
single month this year, I think. Every single month so far. Um, let's see, what else? You get preferred shipping. So if you do place an order ever with me, you get premium low flat rate shipping. Whether you're in the US or in Canada, you get a low price, um, lower than our other customer friends. So that's awesome. And this month, as soon as you become um, a club member, or if you are already a club member, you are going to get $5 off any order of $50 or more um, throughout the month. That is $5 off $50 or more in the US, $7 off a $70 order in Canada. And there's no limit. So you can only get one discount per order, but if you happen to order two times during the month, you'll receive that discount two times. So um, there you go. Now that's gonna dry. All right, so I'm done painting for now, but I'm gonna set it over here in case, in case I need, oops. I have an electric table that sometimes I forget to lock. All right, I locked it. Now, those are sitting there nicely. So remember I use Dune and Papaya for this. So I know people are gonna wanna know my colors. Dune and Papaya. Okay. Uh-oh. My little heat gun. Boo hoo, Carol. Gwen, you joined. Yes, lady. Woohoo. Yes, Gwen just joined. Um, Victoria is LOLing. What is the transfer this month? Oh, Sarah, should I show you? It's really cute. I have to grab it. Um, now when you first look at it, you're going to be like, what? No, it's super cute. It says, you, here, let me hold it down here. You are beautiful. Don't change. Okay. So, um, you are beautiful. Don't change. So that's part of it. And then it has these little flowers down here. Registration marks, which are a little bit thicker. We asked them to get thicker. And then the accents to the flowers that will go down here. So like the little, whatever part of that flower is called. I don't, I did not pay attention to the plants part of biology. Um, and the words are awesome. Like I absolutely love the message, everything about it. You are beautiful just the way you are. Don't change all of that. So I'm gonna be doing my take on this um, a couple different ways. I usually do three, two to three different ways so that all of my club members can really get the most out of their transfer because these are reusable. So you can use this so many different times. I feel very um, sure that I will be doing a t-shirt, but also I'm going to be doing a couple other things. So You Are Beautiful, Don't Change is our October Club Couture Transfer. And for those of you who didn't get the hint when I had this up here and I was talking about it, type club in the comments if you want more information or you want to learn how to become a club member. Just type club. So if I signed up for Chalk Couture today, the Club Couture, is that discount available to me now? Yes, it absolutely is. Um, if you place an order on the website, for a subtotal of $50, it will automatically take off $5. Um, I did but the add-on to get this month's kit, but my subscription won't actually start till November. Did you, Gwen, did you do the add-on? I couldn't tell when you signed up. I didn't get the, um, the email yet to see if your order had the add-on, so I didn't know. Hi, Diane. 
Oh, good night, Logan. Love you. Sleep tight. <sighs> okay. Um, I love it too. Oh, awesome. I bet it's going to be beautiful on a t-shirt. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Good, good, good. That's going to be great on t-shirt. Yeah, yes. For your little one. For me. For whoever. Um, um, okay. Let's get the surface that we're going to do. All right, I am... So silly me, I really should have moved this because I don't want to touch the ends. Because they're wet. This one's probably fine. Okay, and then I will do this. You should be able to see the whole thing. Okay. Yes, I did get the add-on. Okay, perfect. Yes, and your, um, Gwen, your subscription will start November 5th. Correct. That is correct. Okay, so we're going to do a little mini buffalo plaid action um, on the inside of this. So we have, okay, so this is our palette board, and this is the back side of the palette board, okay? So the front is the flat part. This is the inside of our diagonal palette board. These are super inexpensive. They're a 12 by 18 board for just like under 20 bucks, guys. Um, it's a super great deal for this surface. Usually the bigger the surfaces are, the more expensive they are. Um, honestly, our nine by 12s are usually like 19.99. I think this is 19. All right, so I am just going to place this in here. And with as with all of my buffalo plaid stuff, I will be doing a kind of a distressed look. Now, since the board is gray, I'm going to do white for my buffalo check and stir up my white paste. And I'm just going to kind of drizzle it on here so we can spread it out. I'm gonna use my angled squeegee, which has this really nice long um, side, but also because I can get into these corners. Normally you're using like a flat surface, a flat board, and you don't usually have corners to get into, but here I will have some corners. So I'm gonna really get in there. get into the sides and I'm probably going to leave it fairly distressed. Um, there's a chance that I may even want to sand some of it off. Okay. That's just what I'm going for. Put some more over here. Make sure I'm getting all the way up in there. You can kind of go the angle of the diagonals. That kind of helps too. So you're going with the, I'm gonna have to change my angle a little bit as I finish this. Yeah, I think I just got paste all over the side, but it's paste, you can wash it off. No big deal. All right, now I'm gonna use the other side of this because I'm gonna use my left hand and get up in there. I don't usually chalk with my left hand, so I feel kind of like a toddler. Um, 
Another reason why this is gonna be a distressed look. Thanks, Diane. Oh, Jennifer, he's the sweetest. Oh my goodness, okay. Let me scoop this off of here, put it back on there. And a lot of this is gonna be covered up too. It's really just a background. Okay, I think we're good. I think we are good to go. I'm just getting all the excess, putting it back in the container. All right. Go ahead and peel and reveal our background. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now I'm gonna wash this transfer real quick, guys. It won't take me but a minute to get all this chalk off. Should not take but a minute. White chalk is the easiest chalk to wash off, honestly. So good. So good. Okay, did anyone else hear that song right when I said so good? All right, done washing this. Now I just have to set it to dry. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, I'm gonna clean up this chalk chalk and dry this. I'm gonna dry it. Because I'm live and online, I have to dry this for you guys so we can speed up the process. Thanks, Marsha. $17.99, see this diagonal? So inexpensive, $17.99. If you are a Club Couture member, you get $4.95 shipping, which is amazing. If you don't have the Buffalo, the mini Buffalo plaid, you could add that transfer on. Um, maybe you need some papaya chalk paste, you add that on, you're over 50, you get the minus $5, you're on your way to a really cool project, okay. I do have my hot glue gun on and it's raring and ready to go because we're gonna be turning this into a faux shadow box because it's really not a shadow box. It doesn't have glass or anything like that. Yes, I love the sanding too. Oh, Kathy, that would have been just way too smart for me to turn the board around. Usually I do that, actually. But today I was like, I'm, I'm like stuck in a place because I want these to dry. And um, it didn't even occur to me to turn the board. That would have been way too easy. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so here's a question for you. Hey, Chica, how are you, lady? Um, here's a question for everybody. Those of you who have, who, this is YouTube, it's not Netflix, so YouTube. How many of you have seen the advertisements for the Paris Hilton documentary, This is Paris, or The Real Paris? And how many of you rolled your eyes? Um, and then how many of you actually watched it? I actually highly recommend you watch it because I think you will be surprised, actually. I was, I had one idea about her, and after seeing that um, documentary, I was completely blown away. Totally had no idea about who she really was, how she really is, and I actually now really like her. So I think you should watch it. Um, from one girl boss to another, I think you should watch it. For real. 
And it's just, I know, I ignored it because I was like, Pfft. see, like if you, if, if all you know about her is like her fake persona, like the real, the simple life, that show that she did, um, you'll be blown away. Truthfully blown away. Like I, it was, it was crazy. It was really good. Um, so I actually would recommend and it's like a one, it's, it's like a documentary, um, one longish movie type thing. I watched it over a couple days because I think it's like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. Totally rolled my eyes too. And then I don't remember. Oh, someone said something about her and how she is so afraid to, like she can't be herself because she's so afraid that she won't be successful if she is her real self. And so she puts on the Paris that everyone else wants instead of being herself. And someone made that comment and I was like, huh, why well, I, I didn't know that it was, you know, a facade. And so I had to watch it. So, and, and I was blown away. I had no idea. There are some really real shockers in there that I, I actually had no, and I actually feel sympathy for her when, especially when, if you watch it, when she's sitting there talking to her sister, Nikki, and her sister Nikki's married and has um, a little girl. Yeah, you gotta, you just gotta, you just gotta watch it if you if you have time to waste. <laughs> Ew. Ew. My goodness. Sorry. Hi, Rita. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's get to putting this thing together. So we are going to, um, I need to get another stick of glue. Okay, and I'm just gonna glue. I don't know. I'm just having fun with the glue now. Glue it on. And it's gonna go right here, almost all the way to the end. Almost. Can you see that? There's just a little bit of Room right there, and look how perfectly it fits in here. OMG, love it. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with this one. I used like a whole thing. There we go. Oh, stop it. And then a little bit right there. And this is gonna go close, but not touching. So there's a little bit of room in between. Okay. Cute, cute. So far, so good. And then, I'm going to squeeze in some embellishments. Um, I need pliers. Pliers to squeeze this and make it. Okay, so this is just like little 
raffia clumps of straw, right? And I just wanna squeeze it in there so that it comes out in between. And then I'm gonna hot glue Just drip it down there. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, come on. Now I'm in big trouble. Because it won't move. There we go. All the way down. Okay, so we got our straw on there, glued. Um, I actually have a couple pieces. Let's see if this will go down there. I'm gonna try to glue that. It's got this little bit of wire that's holding it together. So I just wanna move that out of the way. And just kind of stick this in there. I'm gonna use my multi-tool to get it in there, okay. No, Tony, same one, but it's working. It's working now though. Okay, and this one is just gonna go right here. Nice and flat. Okay, so we've got some straw or hay or whatever in the world we're calling it. And we're gonna put in some, this is called Heather, I think. I don't know. I think that's what it's called, Heather. And this is also going to get glued down there and here. I want to be careful not to use my finger to press this down. So we're getting a little green now in there, that little maroon. I'm going to do one more piece of heather. Just clipping off most of it. Okay, I'm gonna clip off more of that because it's too tall. I'm gonna glue this alongside here so it'll get its own glue. There we go. Just gotta hold it in. Hold it down, don't burn myself. Joanne, great question. So I just sent off money to the builder. Um, they have to draw up our plans before we will know. So they have to like, I don't know. They have to come up with our home plan before we can really know for sure if it's something we can do. All right, now I'm gonna put in some of this. Um, oh, I need more glue. There we go. I don't know if this is hops too, like skinny, or if it's just wheat. Oh, you scared me, Easton. Give me a hug. Good night, I love you. Be good. Hey, do you need a bath? Can you take a bath real quick? Nope. 
Easton Charles. Um, how about if you just take like a five minute bath? It'll be so quick and easy. Nope. Easton, you played hard outside today. Thank you, Rita. Yes, Kathy. So I actually, we would, we found a lot that is, um, in our same school district and same elementary school, which is huge. Good night. Oh, I wish I could pack your lunch tomorrow, but you're not going to school and so Thursday. So hopefully we'll get your lunchbox back tomorrow after your thing. Your coach has it. Oh, I good thing. Forgotten. Good thing I had your name on your lunchbox. Must have forgotten it. <laughs> All right. Good night. I love you. Go right to bed. I'm going to try to squish these down a little. With force and hot glue. Because I want it in between there, but I don't necessarily want it puffing up. Um, I know. Seriously, unless I can have playtime, which means fill it up all the way and sit in it for hours until I get wrinkly. Um, I mean, for him, that's what he means. Okay, now I need to throw in some other stuff. <clears throat> Let's see. No, I did have some of this. This might, that might be kind of cute. Just a little sprig of something, which I have no idea what it is. And stick that in there. Use my multi-tool. It's just a little bit of like green and white and a little bit of yellow. Um. Let me see. What else do I have? I have. Oh my goodness. No. Where's the rest of my, I know, oh here, we have some green stuff. Might be able to use this. I mean, uh, this is, when in doubt, look on the floor and see what you dropped. Because there's a chance that it's something good that you can put on your creation. I mean, I'm just saying. We're gonna give it some leaves. Got a lot of glue. Get that glue off of there. There we go. Get some leave, a leave on there. No, I can go like that. I don't care. All right, so we got some leaves. And I think I was gonna think of putting some green stuff. Maybe I'll just do these grasses. I do wanna fill this space right here.
I know that this is skinny and will go nicely. And then I have like a plump, a plump, some plump um, hops that can go down here as well. which will just simply finish out these bottom spaces. When in doubt, fill it with glue. <laughs> you guys, I am such a crazy crafter. All right, now We'll take some more, except this one, I think I will, I don't know, I think I'm going to have to separate it. Use my little, these are little wire snips that work so well when you're doing crafting. I want to cut this down even farther. Oh, I need more glue. Another, I am like going through glue like a mad woman. There we go. So it's loaded up with stuff. So I've filled the little, the little crevices. Maybe I will add no, I don't know. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so now I need to look at, I kind of, I should have thought about this. Okay, I can do this, I can do this. Look at me making a little bow. Just a little tiny bow. We'll do the same thing over here. If I can squish it under there. Lose some straw. Yeah, I could have done that. Like loosen it up. It's okay. When it's standing up, I think this will be good. Okay. Just like a little... Bunny ears, you know, crisscross, applesauce, okay. Let me put a little, just to keep it there so it doesn't turn on me. And that, I think I'll trim it a little. Oh, now it's not. There we go. Now, believe it or not, I'm not putting any words on this. I do have straw like all over the place. 
you could pick some of that out. Um, ah, it's so cute. And then, okay, it's so cute. Let me show you the whole thing. You're waiting for the bows. I did the cute little bows. Um, if you have ever thought about becoming a designer, I'd love to invite you into my little opportunity group so that you can do, um, so that you can learn what it's like to be a designer or what it takes. So here we go. This is our final thing. Um, sorry, I forgot to finish my thought. Type team in the comments and I'll get you an invite to that group. Um, this is the final thing. Now imagine setting this on a shelf or a mantle or something and just sprinkling either some leaves or, you know, they have this filler, they have this filler stuff that you can buy that has like leaves and little pumpkins and stuff. How adorable, seriously, I love it. And I literally don't need to put any words on this because um, it's just, it's just a, it's just the motif. You know, it's just whatever. And if you wanted to have something with words in front of it, you could something little like, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Can you see it all? Thank you guys. Thank And the pumpkins, like seriously, how cute. So easy. So simple. Just using our chalk paste and water. Chalk paste, water, and a paintbrush. So easy. Um, and I'll be honest, the matte look is so popular for painting. And this is so, because it's chalk paste, it's matte look, right? So it's not super shiny. I love it. Super cute. I wonder if I want that to go that way. Maybe I'm going. It's, a lot of them are bendable with that. Um, but anyway, there you go. Another idea. Another idea I'm sharing with you. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Tomorrow I'm going to be live early. It's going to be 2 uh, p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you join me. I'm not sure which, if, what I'm doing, if I'm doing Club Couture or not. But either way, um, I'll be here. So I hope to see you there soon. Thank you so much for joining. And um, I didn't see any questions, so I think we're good. Yeah, we were just chatting about locally, and yes, we'll be local. So, all right. Have a great night, you guys. Bye.